When you're live, the audience is always part of the performance. If they think something's funny, then you play to them. If they think something's serious, you stay on it longer before leaving so you don't rob them of that experience. That's what makes it unique. This is a live silent film with live performance, live editing, live sound effects, live music played by a plethora of instruments by Eric. I wrote the story Newfoundland was fault probably in the year 2000 to 2002. I just kind of drew it as a book, but it always felt like a bit of a screenplay to a, a paperback silent film, and, you know, that was never me. So I sent him a copy and with the soundtrack, and we started talking about it. Essentially, it's a story about a robot trying to write love songs, but he can't sing. He's trying to get the attention of this girl. So it's another lonely character in this big city and through their interactions he gets knocked down a few times and and then he finds a way to kind of write an authentic love song to her using the technology they had so also there's a villain which is the newer faster more efficient slicker robot and so the main robot kind of feels his obsolescence around the corner Underneath it all, I guess you could call it a good old-fashioned love story, coming-of-age story. Since it's a silent graphic novel, and it's, for the most part, a silent movie, and it's puppets, you just transcend what they're made of and project not onto them, but right into them. Every time I hear somebody telling me the story back from the audience, I'm happy when they're telling me a different story than I have in my head, so that there's room for that. It's not locked in. It's funny as goofy, isn't it? You just have to make a hump, you know, like from there to there, and just put a black card along here. It's really all you need to do. There are 12 different sets. The sets are lit with very tiny LEDs and battery packs. And so when the set takes its position, which they change through the night, they come pre-lit. And we've, we put the characters in and light like you would in film, so the characters more similar to theater, walk into their light. And the camera, which is tethered to a switcher, then can move within the set, and it can focus, and it could zoom in and zoom out. So you do get nice parallaxing, and you do get very filmic moments. And so then in between sets, the camera quickly slides on this mobile dolly track, and uh, we go to another set. The puppets have run from one place to another and come up underneath then we begin another scene. Everything was a constraint and a plus. They had to fit a certain size puppet, they had to fit in a certain size box, they had to be small enough we could get the camera from one to the next to the next in a certain amount of time. So in a way they dimensioned themselves by our logistics and it's so, a very um, technological theater piece. The camera advances, the, camera. the switching, the low illumination, sending all the signals to all the monitors that we would have to do. I keep running around and wanting to make notes of all the equipment that we're using because I want to learn them all. So the, see, the frame's fine. Okay, yeah, depending, there's, sometimes she was There's not too much headroom, but, but it doesn't, if that's I, it, I still think it's okay. I mean, there's a lot of things that I take from my experience in film to apply to this, certainly. Dramatic lighting and, and the camera movements. It's really just storytelling. It's exactly the same. So we're very careful in assembling a final result that is the one that you want to put out into the world. It's a great process, but it's long, and it's, it's hard work. This is the most complicated show I've ever been a part of. It's like an eight-ring circus. There's this amazing energy and chaos on stage, but what we hope that above this eight-ring circus is this kind of fluid, unified feeling that we create, you know, on the screen for the people in the audience to just drift away with that story. But then they can have that picture-in-picture -picture kind of vibe where they can look down and actually see how it's all happening in real time. 
In this world of being able to get anything on demand, you have to come to the theater currently to see this show. That's what makes it special and, and more fun. It's going to evaporate after this until its next performance. <laughs>